talked about those evacuations across Florida. The state actually suspended tolls on highways in the Tampa Bay area to help ease some of the traffic heading north. The state also preparing road shoulders to give cars more space to drive. Transportation officials activating special crews to provide road assistance for any vehicles that might break down or run out of gas. All this happening in advance of Hurricane Milton, which has developed into, as we told you, a powerful Cat 5 storm. Well, tonight, Christian Benavides is in St. Petersburg, where the destruction left from Helene is going to create additional danger. But time is going to start running out very, very soon. A message of urgency from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, warning residents to prepare for Hurricane Milton, including removing debris left from Hurricane Helene. We need as much of this debris picked up as possible. Uh, this creates a, a safety hazard, and it also will increase the damage that Milton could do uh, with flying debris. Ben Lando lost his truck in Helene, but hopes his business can survive another punch. It was coming from here, there, hitting together. I was like, that's missiles, even though I have shutters on every window. Officials along the Gulf Coast say the hurricane force winds will also keep first responders from helping those who ignore evacuation orders. EMS won't be there, fire department won't be there, police department won't be there, uh, so take heed to the warnings. Storm surge could reach as high as 12 feet in parts of the Tampa Bay area. Another problem with debris clogging up storm drains, making flooding even worse. We're going to board up, bag up and leave. Residents are lining up for miles to fill sandbags and their gas tanks. You know, everybody's now starting to uh, start filling up, but uh, yeah, things are going to get a bit hectic. It's an exhausting effort that's becoming too frequent for some. I mean, I have to admit, there is a moment where I said, how many more times am I going to live through this? I think every islander did. Milton would be the first major hurricane to make direct landfall in the Tampa Bay area since 1921. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, St. Petersburg.